Hi, my name is Gustav Jungdahl and this is Extreme Insurance Fraud. Hello everyone and welcome to Gustav Making Stuff where I have made, as you have seen in my rather stupid video there, a massive fucking moose head. It is very large indeed. So, Let's get going, shall we? So, what you need is... is a... Bicycle helmet! Uh, two semi-round plastic uh, things, like this one, you can have a choice. Plastic pipe, a Christmas ornament or another ball, an Easter plastic egg, a fur-like uh, fabric-ish pipe isolation, upholstery upholstery foam, yoga mattress, uh, EVA floor mats, and time and uh, glue gun and zip ties and free time. Also some paper to make some patterns on. So we're starting here by putting on this helmet here. Um, this recording of this audio has been incredibly problematic due to I'm picking up some weird disturbing signals that uh, makes everything unusable. So this is like the fifth time I'm doing this at this moment. But anyway, you are going to write out the, the draw out where the ears and the eyes is going to be like that. And also we're going to fold this to make, you know, a mirrored pattern here. So we're just going to cut it. With a scissor, that is very good for cutting, because that is very, very useful. You should get a scissor if you don't have one. Anyway, so now I am going to actually tape it all together in the front here, and I'm going to fold it together. They have a little bit of a squared nose, so uh, let's uh, try to just fold that as it is. If there is a massive echo sound, it's because I have put myself in my steel cased bunker which do not even cell phone are uh, penetrating signals into so we will see if this audio will work this time anyway so now you see when i have just folded and cut it and thing like that and i also bended things away and it you see we are just gonna cut, uh, uh, draw it out on this um, camping mattress foam and it will be fantastic indeed so Go away, kitty. And, oh, sorry about that. Anyway, so now we're going to see. We have it like that. And we're going to glue it together uh, to form, you know, the bending forward nose. And you see, it starts to get a little bit more squared here, which is the result I'm looking for. So now I'm going to take this up from the floor and show you that it's very good if we are folding it together like that and then gluing it in the front there. Not too much by the way because this is just gonna uh, put it together for the nose part there. Which now we're gonna pull together like that and glue it in place. You see? Like that. Because they look a little bit, interesting, a little bit different from a horse which is more rounded. So now you see we take this um, tube isolation and we are going to put it like that and we sort of bend it to make a little bit of a straight wing. This was a little bit too thick that part so we will use this instead. So it's gonna be like that and I'm gonna cut it together there. Split it in half It's the word I'm looking for. And now I'm gonna bend it over like that and glue it in place. Ta-da! Fantastic, right? Fantastic. And now we're going to take the Easter egg. And the Easter egg are going to be like that, with a little bit of lips also attached to it. The Easter egg are very, very good. Then you're also going to be a Christmas ornament. So this will be a very seasonal thing with multiple seasons. So you see, we have just cut a little hole there and push it back in. Now we are going to make the thing that is under the shin of the moose, moose jaw 
the, the jaw of the movies is like that Kevin Smith movies he's working on or not working on. He had a heart attack, I read uh, some time ago. So maybe that will be later. Now, you see, this is a little bit of a shim thing here on the, the little under lip thing, which is just going to take a little bit of that and glue it together. Now, it's a very important part here to make a little hump that it has on the front of the nose, which kind of looks like a bell end when you think about it, and if you have enough imagination. So now we're going to put that into upholstery form and cut the sides so it will fold over itself when we are gluing it if that is the right word for it. And this takes some time, so be sure to have some need to watch, because it's very boring to watch glue dry. Now, isn't that fantastic indeed? And they are kind of a drop shape with a little bit of a bend. And now the, the upholstery form is like, uh, the thin one, like three millimeters or something, we're gonna glue it under the lips and actually stretch it over uh, to the no nose. And now it's an actually a little bit of a, you have to push it in to just, and then cut away some excess and then stretch it over so it will look very good. But don't do it too much because we're actually going to uh, use it to our advantage that it is a little bit too much. Um, so we are going, because they have a little bit of an interesting autonomy with some kind of a, uh, uh, you see it is like kind of, a, I don't know what it's called, but when you fold things over and it overlap it, you will see what I mean soon enough. You see, like that, and then glue it in place, and that will look like that. Oh, God damn it, kitty, I have a cat that is attacking my keyboard and me at the moment. Anyway, so now you see we are going to stretch that over and it's now starting to actually look like a proper mouse here. Isn't that amazing indeed? Now you see lips. We can talk. It can sing. <laughs> So now we're going to drill holes in here, and uh, I don't recommend it to, to do that because uh, this will render the helmet useless, so be sure to have a helmet that you will never ever use again, uh, unless you're going to make something nice out of it like this. So anyway, I don't have to explain it, but anyway, it's just some tip ties there. And now I am pushing the horn through the antlers through it like that, but that was a little bit uh, wrong, so I have to do it like that because otherwise the head won't fit inside it, the human head. And now we are going to take this uh, half circled um, things here. I couldn't find anything better than this, but they will have to do and just drill them out. And now we're just going to make a little bit of a uh, glue around it and just push it down and let it dry. So it will be fantastic indeed. And now we're gonna cut around there and also make a little bit of a cut and push the Christmas ornament, which I've cut in half, which I forgot to film, but I have done that. And after we have done that, uh, we're actually gonna glue something on the back side also, because this is gonna be the eyes. And now we're gonna take a little bit of uh, some scrap parts of foam and actually start to kind of sculpt the eye lid muscle thingy that is exposed over it that doesn't have any fur on it and it looks something like that you see you have two layers on the top and one on the bottom there and now we're going to cut out a whole hole that is a little bit smaller than the one that you have drawn out and just push it through there and you can then glue it so now we are actually going to put uh, some fabric on this thing so we're going to cut it out a little bit larger than it is, so, um, but be sure to have two points so you can see where the center will go. And now you see we're just gonna put it over there and cut two little holes like that and then redo the process by pushing it in and then pushing it back together, back again. So you see, now I was a little bit of a over excessive with the cutting here because you usually have to just cut a little hole for the eye and then work yourself from there. But instead I did this. It was a bit stupid, but, uh, well, 
you learn from your mistakes, you know. So now we have just glue that back and stretch it over and it will be nice like that. Now you see we actually start to look like a proper fur animal here. So now we're gonna cut here along the nostril holes there and also along the side where I have folded in that way. And then glue it black on place. But like I said, we're going to pull this whole thing up and not glue it because we're gonna have some latex. So it looks a little bit more like exposed skin on the, on the nose of the moose. The noose moose. Anyway, so that's a dark day after when it is dried up. I'm actually going to hit it with a little bit more of a gray color here on top of the latex. This is acrylic color, so it will actually flex. And that is very important uh, when you work with flexible materials. So now we're gonna put some black into the nose holes there to make some little bit of a definition of it. And also paint the inside of the mouth a little bit more black. And now, you see, we are going to hit this with the same gray color on top of the uh, eyelids, muscles thingy there. And now we're going to actually put a little bit of a, more of a black color on top of the eye. You might have to do this several times or spray paint it for the best result because they have big black eyes. Uh, you can actually have better eyes, but I think this will do. And this my foot. Now, we are going to draw out here a little bit of a easy antlers here shape in the EVA floor mats here, which are very good to make very easy antlers that will actually look like a little bit like antlers. They will not be anatomically correct or anything like good for close-up pictures, but I'm sure you can find videos on how to make that very, very easy. So, now we have done that, I'm actually going to cut off a little bit of part of it, and I'm gonna slice it into parts here so we can actually fit into the plastic pipe. So you see, I have done that, and now it is gonna be like that, but we are going to glue them together first. So they will look like that when they are glued, and then just slide it over. You might have to cut down the size of the actual support antlers inside there. This would be very very good for transportation. And also that's a more of a pipe insulation there. So now you will see it looks like this. And now we are going to make the little bit of a uh, hanging skin thing under the, which is nice. You have a much bigger rounded part and then you basically going to like fold it together with itself and put something heavy inside it. Uh, I forgot to film that, but uh, that is basically how you do it. So now we're gonna glue back the nose here. Now we're gonna cut a, long, a bunch of lines into the antlers here. So they will look like, a little bit like antlers at least. But for what the purpose of this moose will be, um, well, I, I'm not gonna go, I uh, will we'll show that some later in the, in the in the special show for, but anyway, uh, you will see sooner or later what this moose is going to be used for because it's fantastic. Anyway, so now we're just going to cut that and slide them inside in, so they are a little bit exposed, so they will look like the starting area of the antler. And then we are just going to put some super glue there to glue them in place. That is fantastic indeed, isn't it? And now we're gonna do some little bit of a mouth surgery here by actually removing that part that we glued together in the beginning there. Uh, because now it actually can support itself there. So it's easy, fantastic. Now with the ears, they will look like this. And I made this by taking paper and uh, make a little tube of them and then start to draw what the shape I want like to have on them are. And now we're gonna put that onto the yoga mattress and then cut it out. There you go. Isn't that a very nice piece of air? And now I'm just gonna put the, cover this with uh, fabric and glue them and so on. Sorry for doing this off screen, but well, you know, it's not always easy to film and work at the same time. 
So now when that has been done, I am going to put them behind the antlers because that is what they are on mooses. And you know, cut a little hole there, and then we're gonna cut a little bit of a half circle there, and then glue it to place like that. You see, now it's there, glued, and now it's another ear glue there because it's very good to have two ears so you can hear twice as good. Now I have made a little bit of a template here to make the back part of it here, and I'm just gonna cut that out and cover it with fabric. And sorry for not filming too much of this because I actually forgot to put a record button, but you see, you can now use it like that and put a little bit of a Ladies and gentlemen, now I'm sitting here and petting my moose like the evil genius I am. Yes, we're going to take over the world, you and I. Uh, this is a very ridiculous thing to build, but it was fun. And I'm going to use it in a very, very ridiculous thing, which you will see sooner or later in my uh, almost one-man filmmaking series. So, well, now other stuff. See you in the next one.